when Sony you know, obviously had a significant injury, he broke both bones in his forearm, and it was what we call open fresh, where it came up through the skin. The, the initial thing was taking care of from an emergency standpoint and, and uh, uh, plating the fractures. My biggest concern was, you know, just kind of how was I able to use it again? Um, just, you know, being confident in it, you know, really using it forcefully. He's obviously in a collision sport, and a running back, he's going to hit a lot. Um, so we're trying to think outside the box the best way to make something that would be very strong and very light. So we actually partnered with the, with the School of Biomedical Engineering. We actually took Sony over to their lab and they did a, a 3D digitization of his forearm and actually made a 3D model exactly of his forearm and then uh, we made a custom carbon fiber brace to there. In this project, we need to design a uh, arm guard design for Sonny Michelle with injured uh, bone in the forearm. The forearm is a very important part for a football player, uh, for both attack and defense, and that is also the organ that carry the football all the time. The forearm is also very vulnerable because uh, of the impact that it will receive during the game. In this project, we have to design a very strong, very stiff arm guard for protection of the football player. At the same time, it has to be very lightweight and ergonomic enough that doesn't compromise the performance of the game. From a running back standpoint, you know, they've got to have ball security. And one of the big things, it had to be open on the forearm because you need to be able to feel the ball and know when it's being ripped away. The design process is that we would like to keep the, the part at the back of the forearm open such that when the football player holds the football, he can still have the tactile sensing in his forearm that he can feel the football. The 3D scanner we have here is designed for more small, compact objects for reverse engineering things. Sony Michelle's forearm is far from a small object, and so we had to move the scanner around his arm as opposed to where normally we move small objects in the field of view of the scanner. After we finished the 3D printing process, I put the arm right next to mine, which is three times larger than my forearm. It is huge. You gotta trust the process and, um, you know, taking, they were taking different pictures of my arm and it was kind of looking weird at the beginning because they only had one part of my arm, not the other. But it, it, when it came together, it was kind of, it was kind of cool that it could kind of rotate it around. This took about a week total. Normally with research, we're kind of out on like the uh, edge of the field. So the things we do may not have such an obvious impact uh, so immediately. So it was nice to be able to work on a project where we'll make something and someone gets to use it and we get immediate feedback instead of us fabricating something, going to test it out multiple different times and trying to interpret results. One of the unique things about being on the college campus is many times you have so many resources, you want to take advantage of them. And I think this was the first one, but I think there's many things to come from it. It's very light, uh, very low profile. I don't think many people have noticed he has it on, um, but it allows him to function, do the things he needs to do, and be safe at the same time. When I'm out there, I don't even realize that it's on my wrist unless it kind of slips down and I just got to adjust it. But, you know, just playing, uh, I don't even realize it. Hand it to Sony. He's got the first down and a little bit more. You know, it's kind of helping me, you know, go on, be more confident about my game, going out there, using that arm, um, kind of just playing. Hand off to Michelle. He bounces outside, 25, 20, 15, 10, far sideline, stumbles, reaches, he dives, touchdown, yeah! <laughs>